Joseph Mwai is a farmer. He raises cows, pigs, chickens, and goats, though it's not entirely by choice, he says. It's more for me because I don't have any job to do. I make a living from there. Mwai's farm is in the middle of Nairobi's Viwandani slum. A trash dump smolders behind his homestead across a stream polluted with raw sewage. It's a rich environment for the spread of bacteria and other microbes. You've got people, you've got livestock, you've got wildlife mixing together in this stew of garbage and human waste and animal waste. The opportunities for microbes to exchange genes and mix and match in new ways is tremendous. Because microbes that pass from creature to creature pass their genes around too. Yeah, especially the resistances, the resistant genes to drugs. John Keru is a molecular biologist with the Kenya Medical Research Institute. He says, for example, his team found bacteria called E. coli that are resistant to four antibiotics. Then they found resistance spreading to other germs. The same block of resistant genes that we had found in E. coli were actually now in Salmonella. Even more concerning, cholera germs may have also picked up those resistance genes. High resistance, high virulence, Actually, what you end up creating is a super bug. But scientists know very little about how any bugs move through this complex environment. So a team of researchers are visiting households across Nairobi. They're swabbing people. They're swabbing livestock. They're sampling the ground with white paper booties. University of Liverpool veterinarian Judy Betteridge explains why. To try and understand on a small scale, I mean, even within just sort of 20 meters, how are those bacteria? shared and then when we scale it up uh, are the bacteria here being shared with the household that's 50 meters over there or 100 meters over there so how far can they actually spread and can they spread further through food for example once they find out keru says they need to be careful not to point fingers we are not necessarily investigating who is spreading the resistant or the virulent organisms but actually we are trying to solve a problem the problem to solve the conditions that spread new germs through the slums of Nairobi and beyond. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Nairobi.